We're at an impasse, Mr. Larson. You know too much. Though I'm not quite sure how you know exactly what you know. You thought that you could stop me. That's what amazes me the most. No matter, really. This is much bigger than, than you can comprehend. It's only a matter of time. Yes, only a matter of time. Until I achieve what I've set out to do here. And I am very, very close. Very close. What I don't need, however, is someone like you getting in my way again. You understand me? Huh? You forced my hand! Huh? Thank you, Mr. Larson, for getting me this far. Welcome to Minneapolis! Where we get down and the homies meet Dancing to the loose line sound When I see MC Square, the fires and fish pounds Nine mile mansion, you know that's where I'm found When I hit the loose line, my diamonds, they all shine like pine MC Square said, Mac, it ain't no crime As long as we're still talking Better stop trail walking Rails to trails is where we made our debut. In 10 seconds flat, I'll be getting next to you. Blowing on my green at the MOA. Staying alive, pool party every day. Every day, y'all. Welcome to Minneapolis, where we get down. Hey, Anna. Hey, Nick. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Hey, I was... I was wondering if you have dinner tonight. Yeah, sure. Picnic in the park? Yeah, okay. Great. Pick me up at six? I'll be there, yeah. Hope so. <laughs> No, Luke acts like he's my roommate. He actually lives in his sister's basement. He's one who's always spilling red hots in your couch, right? Yeah. What? Who do you spend most of your time with? Oh, sadly, I spend most of my time with Jimmy from work. I spend a lot of my time at work. I mean, I spend a lot of my time with him, or I used to. For a while, he was getting all excited like he was some something, something big, and um, he wouldn't tell me what it was. He told me I'd find out. And then a couple days ago, he stopped coming to work and won't answer his phone anymore. He must be just getting burned out or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do data entry, right? I mean, what's there to get so worked up about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, you'd be surprised what comes across my desk. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about you. Who is your roommate then? Uh, Dave. He's in grad school for physics right now, and he's always talking about neutrinos and black holes and stuff that most people aren't that interested in, but... Oh, really? 
Well, the other day he was telling me about when they first fired up the particle accelerator at CERN. You know, a couple years ago, the International Science Lab in Switzerland, the one where they thought they might have broke the speed of light. Well, people have all these theories about how it might have created a black hole or ripped space time, stuff like that. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess stuff like that gets pretty intense, and you have to go through all these back channels just to study in the lab. And then it's all terrorists or military or super sketchy rich guys. But, I mean, if you even get caught with an unlicensed lab... Oh, um, I'm sorry, we shouldn't talk about it. I gotta go. What? What? Oh, come on. <laughs> Regular or goofy, it shouldn't really matter. The friction coefficient should be the same either uh, way. Come on, man. This is skate or die, not physics yeah. 101. Physics over everything. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Take that. <laughs> no, shoot. Oh, shoot. Are you serious again? Oh, seriously. Ah, oh. hey. Look who's home. Hey, guys. What's up, hey. man? So. How'd it go? Oh, uh, I, I don't really want to talk about it right oh, now. Hey. Come on, man. You've been crushing those girls since you were like a baby. At least tell us how the first <laughs> date went. Dude, since he was like 10 years and 7 months old. Uh, I just don't really feel like... Uh, oh. Oh. Hey, Miss K. What's up, Miss K? Hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> We're doing I good. heard our guy over here had a first date, so uh, I thought I'd bring a celebration treat. So did it go okay? Did you have a good time? <laughs> he doesn't really want to talk about it. Really? Feeling kind of bashful? Mm. Oh, I'm sure it was a splendid time. And now you can just have a great rest of the night and enjoy your friends, because you have really sweet friends. Thank you, Mrs. K. Bye. 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 Take care. Good night. 
Uh, hey, Amy, how you doing? All I right, come seen... on, man. How bad was it? Amanda Fishburne bad? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> it means bad. <laughs> Dude, Amanda Fishburne, you guys both got arrested because she tried to trank a koala when you guys went to the zoo and smuggled <laughs> it out. I love this story. So many layers. Do you guys remember his date with Lucy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Have you heard about Lucy the parrot girl? Winner, right? She, <laughs> she brought a parrot with on the dates and would have the parrot talk for her to Nick. What was the parrot's <laughs> name again? Jimmy? No. Jake or something like that. Or the girl that kept on double winking the <laughs> whole guys. time. No, its name was Jarvis. You guys, you guys. It was Joey. And I don't think he wants to talk about it. So, Dave, why don't you tell me your oh. big news? Wait. You got it? Yeah, I got it. All of it? All of it. Optical tables, multiple lasers, holographic plates, freon tanks, beam splitters, AO cells, Dude, free on tanks. How about free lunches? <laughs> Dude, that is good news. I'll Ooh. drink to that. Try to catch up. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> I can't believe already. They got back really quick. Play winner. Uh, I guess that's you, man. Step on up. Alright. What do we got going on here? Oh man, you can't handle this. I'm so hot right now. Oh uh, yeah? <laughs> Hotter than the sun. Oh yeah? Hotter than the Big Bang Femto seconds after it. Yeah? Yeah. Flies down. What? I got it. No, it's not. So it's pretty bad tonight, huh? Yep. I don't know. I thought it was going so well, and then just boom, she took off. <laughs> yeah, that's awkward. Well, how was the food you wanted to try? Yeah. It was really good. Uh, I got the leftovers in my bag. You want to try them? Yeah. Let me show it to you. <laughs> ah, go, oh, go, 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 <laughs> uh, Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Uh, yeah. Aww. Uh, uh, <laughs> so what's this? Uh, don't know. I found it by the river and thought it looked cool. <laughs> Might make a bookend out of it or something. Big bang over here just crashed and burned. These things don't take relativistic physics into account. Hey, what is that thing? I don't know. It looks like some sort of sweet science fiction equipment. Or... That's a serious science nonfiction. Where, where did you get this? Uh, down below the Iron Bridge on Nicolette Island. No, I mean, like, like where did this come from? Well, I don't think it was supposed to be in the river, but... Like, I mean, like, down by Nicolette Island at all, like, there, there's no Western laboratories around there. Like, if someone has, like, bootleg equipment able to handle 3,000 amps, like... I don't know. You guys want to check this out? Yes. No. Oh, snap. I blew a flat tire on my date, and I've got to go get my bike anyway. Well, let's go get it. Why don't you snoop around and see what you can find out about this place? We'll go fix your bike. And Luke, who are you kidding? Come on. All right. Let's go. This is on the east side of the bridge over there. It'll get better. Just have to give it some time. Yeah. I suppose. Thanks. If 
find anything? No, but there's entertainment enough for me. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Dave, did you find anything? Uh, nothing yet, but I kind of want to go downstream a little bit more and uh, check stuff out down there. Hey guys, check this out. See? Whoa! What do you think that is? Well, there's tunnels all over down by the river. Not on, not on Nicolet Island. Those are all on the river banks. Wait guys, listen. I'm gonna check it out. What? For real? Guys, this is so not a good idea. Do you guys remember the Tunnel of Terror last Halloween? This is nothing this is like exactly that. exactly like that. Hey guys, wait up. Check it out. Whoa. How deep do you think we are? Well, we've been at a seven to nine degree slope. We're probably a few stories down by now. Seriously? Whoa, Definitely. Dude. Well, hey, let's check it out. Wait, are you serious, Jess? Definitely, but, uh, you know that Tunnel of Terror thing is sounding pretty good right about now. Are you kidding me? Guys, you have got to check this out. Dave, you gotta see this. Have you seen these equations before? Yeah. I wish we were that simple. We just don't have the luxury of extra time anymore. Eight in the morning. Got it? Eight o'clock. Oh, eight hundred. This isn't just for fun anymore. Everything I've worked for is all for nothing. We screwed this up. I get it. Dr. Alexander made it clear that all his arrangements had been made, and we have to meet that deadline. 
No exceptions. I know what Alexander said. I've just been distracted lately, that's all. They're all firing. Just at the wrong time. Well, get it back on, or it's over here for both of us. Do you realize this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me? Remember Jimmy? Jimmy slacked off once. Just once, and he lost his chance here. You don't want that, do you? Test marker three again. We're online at 8 a.m. Got it? Got it. I have to reset the computers to map out the proton trajectories. Guys, we gotta get out of here. Holy crap. Was that Anna? Guys, guys. What was that place? Guys, quiet down. Who's she with? Who's she with? I don't quiet know. Down. That thing's under the whole Does island or more. Say something about quiet down. Proton Stop it. Trajectories? We gotta find a different place to talk. They could be listening to us right now. Okay. Okay. Where's Jess? Dude, she was right behind me. She was right behind me. Uh, I'll go get her. You guys get the bikes. We'll catch up with you guys. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just froze. I just... What are you talking about? He's over there. We gotta stop them. What are you talking huh? about? Well, you just don't find dead bodies in the river. Like, we should go figure this out. Uh, I, th I think I'm gonna throw up. What? What? <laughs> okay. What did you guys see in there? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see much, but I snatched his map. What? Breaking and entering wasn't enough? You had to steal this too? Dude, there was surveillance this is evidence, everywhere man. down there. We are busted the second we walked in. Yeah. I don't know. Let's just look at it. I think it looks like... That's right. It looks like it's under more than just the island. Whoa. Doesn't this look like one of those particle accelerators Dave's always talking about? But, like, smaller. But that's not possible, right? Freshman year, Dave and I took the history of modern science, and Dr. Peterson was always talking about how all the best scientific ideas were rejected at first. Yeah, I think I remember that. Eh, I don't know what you're talking about. Chaos theory, quantum physics, a holographic universe. They were all initially rejected. Okay. Well, I saw some stuff down there, some equations. I ran it by Dave at first, but here's what I saw. Whoa. What is it? It's a heavy side coupling equation. Whoa! Jeez. I thought you were sick. What did you say? The Maxwell heavy side equations. Basically, you can siphon huge amounts of energy off the active vacuum. But up until now, it hasn't been taken seriously. But that's what they could be using to power the particle accelerator right there. So, so you're telling me that some people underneath Nicolette Island built some new improved particle collider? Why? Well, that's what I'm afraid of. What happens when particles collide anyways? Well, nothing yet. 
nothing dangerous. There, there were all sorts of theories at CERN at first. Put enough energy on a big enough particle, you could create a black hole. Are you serious? Yeah. No. Yeah, but it hasn't been a real concern yet because of the low, low amounts of no, energy. No, dude, they're huge amounts of energy. Right, but they're relatively low compared to what they're using here. If you were able to siphon it off the active vacuum, there's a real chance that you could create a black hole. But that's where I get stuck. Then what? We all die? What's the point? Hypothetically, we die. But what's worse than death? I don't know. <laughs> Danny Jarvis the parrot? <laughs> Dude, it's a threat of death. There's a fine line between terror and science. I mean, terrorism isn't just about killing people. It's about forcing people to live in terror. And if they're crazy enough down there... And it seemed like they were wound up pretty darn tight. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, they'll just keep keep threatening people and making demands. And, you know, people believe they just might do it. Jeez. Yeah, but who does that? Well, anyone who's invested everything in into something and then been rejected by the people they invested it in. I mean, at that point, they're not just willing to go down with the ship. They're willing to sink the ship. Jeez. I mean, seriously, this is making of a supervillain stuff. Actually, I saw a list in there of what looked like contact names for different countries. Each name had dates and sums of money listed next to it. Do you think they've already made their demands for ransom? Wait a second. They're not all crazy. Anna's down there. She's not a power-hungry mad scientist. Dude, I'm just saying what we're all thinking. No, seriously, guys. Some of the names are checked off, but not all of them were. Do you think they threatened to turn it on but didn't get the money they thought they would? So now they're actually going to? That's what I'm afraid of. Last piece of the puzzle. That guy Anna was talking to said that Dr. Alexander had a deadline of tomorrow. So, they've demanded ransom for the world from the most powerful countries, but they're calling his bluff. But he's not bluffing, is he? That means we gotta stop him. Sorry, Nick. That means we have to stop her, too. What? Why us? Because we're the only ones who know. So, why don't we tell the cops, the news stations, the FBI? Dude, nobody's gonna listen to a bunch of people with a harebrained idea about a secret laboratory underneath Minneapolis, and even if we do get to the cops and they have a warrant, they're not gonna get there by 8 o'clock. Besides the cops? The cops will just ask us how we know and we'll get busted for breaking and entering. Well, what do you suggest we do? Go back in with a bunch of bombs and just blow the place up? Sounds oh. about right. I have a connection for explosives. Nice. What? I wasn't serious. Well, that's a start. Let's make a plan. Let's take a look at the map again. All right, so I think, yeah, I think this is the part we came in through tonight, which gets us to here. That's the main room we were in. And that part right there is the main power collector right there. All right, so we just, I don't know, triangulate a blast around that point? <laughs> this isn't die hard. It's not going to work like that. Okay, guys, I got it. Dakota said we're going to want to triangulate the explosives around our target. <laughs> right. Looks like die hard. And he right. should have them ready by 6 a.m. We just have to pick them up. That only gives us a couple of hours. Okay. Well, can't we at least warn people, tell them to get out of here or something? Yeah, I don't. we could, but I don't think it's going to matter. There's not going to be really any safe place to run to. I'm still going to call Amy. She still deserves to know. I'm not telling my sister until after we blow that place up. Got to give her the whole story, you know? <laughs> you guys, listen to yourselves right now. We're talking about a, a plan to blow up a secret laboratory underneath Minneapolis. I mean, who does that? <laughs> Seriously, I never thought I'd be talking to you guys about saving the world. Or how we die trying. Right. Well, we've got a few hours to burn. I say we head home, take care of anything we need to, and meet back by the river in the morning. All right. We'll stop by Dakota's first, pick up the explosives, and if everything goes according to plan, we'll have that place blown up in time for brunch.
asleep. Me either. Come on in. It's just kind of strange, you know. I never thought I'd be sitting up thinking about how this could be my last night alive. It just doesn't happen to people. I mean, most people are sleeping the night away like it's any other night. They don't know they could be dead tomorrow. Did you tell Mrs. K? Yeah, that was awkward. Maybe they won't be dead. They could just wake up completely unaware that they were almost killed. What? Well, we've got three futures here, really. One, we don't get down there in time and they turn that thing on and it destroys us all. Two, we actually get down there in time and we stop them. Or three, we get down there and we save the world, but blow ourselves up in the process. <laughs> I think I like the second option best. Yeah. Do you think what Dave's always saying is true? That all time exists out there just like all space exists? That past, present, and future already exist somehow? I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. We've got to make our own decisions either way. I can't stop thinking about Anna. I know we saw her down there and we saw her talking about the plan, but somehow I know she's not a part of it. She just doesn't know the whole story about the place. She's not some sort of twisted terrorist. Just, I gotta get her out of there. Okay. Really? Nick, if you're sure, you're sure. You go in and find her. I'll plant the bombs with Dave and Luke. You saw the maps. There are multiple entrances to that compound that'll take us underground. We get in. We get out. We meet at the old railroad and detonate remotely. But you've got to promise me something. Nick, if you find her, and you find out she's in on it, you can't wait around to change her mind. You've got to get out of there. You have to leave her. You have to get out. Okay? Okay. What time is it anyways? Time to meet your bomb builder. So how do you know this guy? Oh, hi, Jess. Hi. Dakota's been working on something important in his shop all night. Said you had big plans for the day. Come on in, you two. Come on in. He's right downstairs. Dakota, knowing this girl since she's a little tyke, I always knew she grew up to be destructive. <laughs> so, you build bombs for a living? Yeah. Well, no. You know, I dabble. You gotta pay the bills somehow. Okay. Let me show you what I got here. Let me see here, I got it over here somewhere. Okay, you take this one here, you take that one what? there. Gee whiz, kid, you trying to blow us all up? No, no, just kidding. These things are harmless. Well, until you do this. This here's your primary switch. You flip it on, you're live. You take that transmitter, hit that red button, and kaboom! We're all dead. Let's just say they jam your frequency or something like that. You gotta go manual. Once you go manual, you got 15 seconds. All you do, you push this red button for about one second, and you're on. Did, wait, did you just turn it on right now? Yeah, we got about ten more seconds. Where's my wire clipper? Jeez. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, what? 
Uh, how are these? Uh, uh, oh boy. Uh, Black wire, yellow wire. I got it. I got it. You. It's not a problem. I have fixed up in a couple minutes. Jeez, what took you so long, buddy? We just got hooked up with custom-made, state-of-the-art explosives overnight. All right, fine. Let's just get this over with. I've had diarrhea all night just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm not going with you guys down there. What? We're in this together, dude. I'm going to go down there, but i got to get Anna out first. This girl's going to mess up everything, isn't she? All right, so did you get what we need? Yeah. Look, right she's here. not in this whole mad scientist plot thing. How do you know? How can you be sure? I can't explain it, and I can't prove it, but I just know. She can't be in on this whole thing. <sighs> okay, okay. But dude, we have to stop them, which means we have to blow that place up. So you have to get out of there. It's scary enough trying to save the world, but I don't want to lose my best friend too. So, did you get what we need? Yeah, they're still right here. All right, so, heck, I think we're burning daylight here. All right. Okay. All right. Alright, you go save the girl, we'll go save the world. Alright, we got 12 minutes. Set your watch, man. Dude, set your watch. Alright, yeah. Alright, we gotta set this thing off in 12 minutes. Otherwise that death hole is gonna kill okay. everyone. So get out of there. He's got it. Alright. See you at the bridge. Let's go. I'll see you guys. No, no, oh, no. no. The remote transmitter it just fell in. We can't get it back? Yeah, well, it wouldn't really matter if we did. The circuits are going to be completely fried. So that's it? No. We can set them off manually, but we only have 15 seconds to get out. All right, let's do it. We have to get as close to the center as possible. We've got 15 seconds after we release these things to run as far back here as we can. Let's hope we make it far enough. <laughs> yeah. I think that lab we were in last night is right above the dipole flux exchanger. Basically the main power grid of the whole station. I think if we could drop down there, we can get it close enough to but destroy will it. will give us enough time to get out? <sighs> hope so. Okay, boys, this is it. Let's do it. It's me, shh. What are you doing here? How did you get in here? Are you crazy? Look, 
no matter how I say this, it's going to sound ridiculous, but you have to listen to me. Just give me 60 seconds. Start talking. Um, we gotta leave. You gotta come with me right now. What? Why? What if I told you there were bombs planted in this place and we've only got about eight minutes until they blew? That's impossible. How did you get in here? It doesn't matter. If I got down here, then the bombs can be down here too, right? You did not. I can't believe this. I, I am this close. I know. I know. You've got to get the timing corrected so you can be back online by eight. The timing is back on. Have you been watching me? How do you know that? What is going on? Okay, look. Dr. Alexander is not who you think he is. Well, maybe. I'm, I hope you don't know who he is. He's got enough power in that accelerator that he could actually create a black hole that could do some real damage before it evaporates. Enough that he's already contacted dozens of countries around the world, threatening them and demanding their cooperation. Why should I believe you? Jim, Jimmy, we found Jimmy's body in the river. You tell me, what did he find? He was onto something big, remember? He stumbled onto something. And he was going to great confidentiality and come clean with the police about this place. And so Alexander killed him. You've known all along that something wasn't right about this place, but this is the closest you've come to living your dream and doing some real research and getting the resources that you needed. And so now, you can keep on living that dream, or you can wake up and realize that you've been working for a terrorist who's been using you the whole time. And now, if we don't get out of this place, we've only got five more minutes to live. Right? The, he said it was top secret research. He said we should lie about it to keep it a secret. I know. He lied to you. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. That vent right there. That'll bring it down to the next sub-level. Right next to the power collectors. Ah, ah, ah! Not another move. If it's not one thing, it's another. I don't care who you are, or what you think you know, or why you're here. The bottom line here is, I'm very busy! And you all are in my way. Now it's time to dispose of you. Wait! If we go, you go. This all goes. You've got 15 seconds from when I let go of this button. <clears throat> I'll call that bluff. Try me. Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I cannot believe this. You guys! Oh man, look who's alive. Yeah, get over here. Oh. I can't believe you made it. I can't believe this worked. Way to go, guys. Hi, Dude. Hi I'm Jess. Nice to meet you. Nice Sweet to meet you. job. Hey, we're glad you're not a terrorist. Yeah. This Blue guy's pretty crap. crazy oh. about you. Oh my oh, goodness. goodness. What? Oh man, I think we'll have to go check that out. All right. Huh. All right, we better. Here we go again. Man. I don't believe it. That's him? That's a guy? Yeah. He can't just get away. Shouldn't we chase after him? Yeah. We've got no. to. What? You guys, you guys, he has another lab somewhere. What? Oh huh? my gosh. Yeah, it's the first rule of military grade research. You always get enough funding to build two. Are you, you guys, serious? she's right. You sure? She's right. I saw another map when we were just in there when you guys were planting that bomb.
You got three seconds to run. I already started counting. Go. Well, you guys did nice work. You're not gonna want to see this. We'll take it from here. Yeah! Yeah! All right! That's incredible! <laughs> I can't believe we did it! Yeah! Yeah! What a crazy connection! Nice. Nice. Yes! We didn't have to get him after all! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, Man. let's get out of here! Seriously! So what now? Photon laser. You have to go through all these back channels just to study in the lab, and then it's all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it from here. Stop coming to work and he won't answer his phone anymore. Unless we're just getting burned out or something. <laughs> right now? Are you kidding me? <laughs>